Hello everyone, it's Amanda from Lactation Wise. Welcome. I just want to do a quick video on something that Dr. Sears came up with. You'll notice there's certain doctors that I always refer to. <clears throat> Dr. Sears is one. You can find his work um, called Ask Dr. Sears and probably uh, AskDrSears.com, but I will leave the link below definitely for you. So I thought I'd do this one for you. It is called Seven Ways Breastfed Babies Become Healthier Adults. So here we are into the promoting breastfeeding again. <clears throat> Excuse me. The health benefits of breastfeeding extend far past uh, when you wean the baby. Okay, so well into adulthood, healthy adults. Okay, breastfeeding prevents obesity. I don't know how that happens. I, I know there's research or else we wouldn't be talking about it. Uh, lactation counselors only do um, speak from uh, research-based information that we've been taught and told and remember. And this doctor um, obviously knows how that is possible. So I'm just always amazed. I didn't come up with the study, but it's pretty amazing. Um, <clears throat> I do know that <clears throat> one of the reasons is portion control. When you breastfeed a baby, the baby's able to be in control of the feeding. When you uh, formula feed, sometimes, uh, probably on accident, the baby winds up overfeeding and not limiting how much they eat. Um, the funny part there is that my babies were way overweight. So I think that there's something called a, a milk ejection reflex. And I think that mine was really strong. And so when the milk came in, the baby was like, suck, 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 swallow, suck, swallow, you know, trying to uh, deal with that much milk all at once. Well, that's what happens with the formula fed. So um, I hope my babies aren't going to be obese. No, they're not. They're older and they're not. Okay, so let's see if I can pull out some information from breastfeeding prevents obesity. Um, I guess because they're healthier too. It says uh, breast milk builds healthy eating habits. Oh yeah, healthy eating habits right from the start. Uh, let's see. Sometimes the formula-fed babies are, are led to drink the whole bottle. So... If they only want two ounces, but you made four ounces, sometimes you you tend to give them that last ounce or what they didn't drink and just like top it off, just drink a little bit more. And I know that happens where I work in daycare and sometimes we do that. Um, a lot of times we space out their feedings though. We, we know to, to feed bottle feeding like breastfeeding. That makes sense. Yes, because breastfeeding is popular now. Okay, number two, doc, ask Dr. Sears, seven ways breastfed babies become healthier adults is they have better teeth. And if you ask your dentist or orthodontist, they will always tell you that. The healthier you keep your teeth and your gums, the longer you can live. The first seat, again, the first time I ever heard that, I was like, what? But now my dad's 91 and he takes great care. I mean, I'm talking... Uh, cleaning and flossing and everything. So both my parents have their teeth, all their teeth. So there you go. I think they both were breastfed too. That's what I think. Okay, number three on the seven ways breastfed babies become healthier adults, lowered risk of heart disease. Now, doesn't that sound good? Because that runs in my family and I don't want to have a higher risk of heart disease. Right. Let's read something from that paragraph. All the evidence isn't in yet, but some researchers believe that breastfeeding during infancy may lower the risk of heart attacks and strokes in later life. See, my mom had a stroke, so see, I don't want that either. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna. I keep referring to my own situation, but it's just giving me memories. Okay, number four, lowered risk of juvenile diabetes. 
Babies who are breastfed are less likely to develop type 1 diabetes mellitus in childhood. That's the one where they get the shots. So we all don't want that, and that puts them at higher risk, which everyone's talking about nowadays because of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Number five, how to become a healthier adult through breastfeeding. Lowered risk of multiple sclerosis. Well, let's read this one together. Multiple, multiple sclerosis, a degenerative muscle disease that strikes adults, may be caused in part by myelin breakdown. That's right. I have read about this. See, it builds up the myelin sheath. However, multiple sclerosis is less common in countries where breastfeeding rates are high. Human milk's contribution to the myelin formation, and I believe that's around the nerve, may help to prevent multiple sclerosis in later life. Number six. Now, this is hilarious because it says seven ways, and I only have six down, so maybe I'm, I'm going to come up with the seventh one. The lowered risk of asthma and allergies. Okay, we'll call that six and seven. I got out of that one. Now I owe you guys one. I'll have to put it in the description below. Studies have shown that breastfeeding lowers the chances of a child developing allergies and asthma symptoms. Breast milk's immunities components protect babies from allergens in the first months of life. That's right. Breastfeeding also delays the introduction of potentially, potential, oh, what is going on here? Introduction of potentially allergenic foods, such as cow's milk and soy protein, into the diet until the baby is older and the immune system is more mature. Oh, that's right. And I bet the seventh one is having a healthier gut. So when the baby nurses, the baby's getting exactly what the baby needs and nothing more and nothing less. So their gut, what, what um, goes through the small intestine and the large intestine is exactly what's needed. And when they have a bowel movement, you've heard that it's a, a perfect consistency to just go right through. They don't have to push or pull. And I can't say they won't be gassy, because I've seen uh, breastfed babies that are gassy, but maybe less gassy. So everything that happens in the gut is su what's supposed to happen. When you have formula, which I told you before, I was formula fed, you can have a lot of gassiness and a lot of uncomfortableness and BMs that are harder than they're supposed to. So the infant's pushing a lot to get them out. And um, I can't say it doesn't happen with breastfed babies because I'm not home with every baby and helping every mom. So I can't say 100%, but it's better with breastfeeding. Um, well, I thank you all so much for listening to this video. And that was the seven healthiest reasons to breastfeed so you have a healthy adult on your hands. And look for the seventh one down below. It's Amanda Huff at Lactation Wise. I uh, want to say that probably the next video will be on why you need a lactation counselor. Thank you. Bye.